grace and peace and god bless you and welcome to fire in the morning hallelujah we thank the lord it is friday you have made it to friday amen if you've had a rough week if you've had a week that was just trying it was something one thing after the other listen you can give god praise because you made it to friday today god has blessed you he has graced you and you are here hallelujah and so we have gathered today amen to give god glory and honor because this is the day that the lord has made and we are already rejoicing because we are glad that we are in it hallelujah this morning this being Friday, this being the end of a rough week for some, a busy week, amen, an eventful week. This morning, amen, I wanted to, amen, set the tone for us, amen, and so this morning is going to be worship and prayer. So I want you to be blessed as you listen to the worship, amen, let your heart go into the presence of God, let your spirit man, amen, relish the presence of the Lord, this is worship for fire in the morning. God bless you as you listen.
Amen. We thank God for the worship on this morning. Hallelujah. And even as they were worshiping, I had already had my Bible open. Hallelujah to Psalm 23. And I'm going to read that this morning, even as we get ready to close out our fire in the morning. I want to read that. So if you have your Bible, let's look at Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We thank God for this Friday. We thank God for bringing us to today. Amen. We made it through a grueling week. We made it through whatever kind of week it was that we had. Hallelujah. And today we can say that no matter what we face, the Lord is our shepherd he is our keeper even in the midst of turmoil he leads us beside still waters even in the midst of when we feel like we are depleted we're at wit's end he restores our soul and we can be we can be glad about it we can rejoice about it we can give him glory no matter if our enemies are taunting us no matter if others are causing difficulty we know that god is still able to prepare a table before us in the presence in the very presence of our enemies and you know even if we feel like we're having to walk through the valley of the shadow of death guess what it's just a shadow it's not even the real thing it's just a shadow so be strengthened be encouraged be it be just full of the power and the glory of God today don't let anything move you you know why because the last verse says surely surely of a certainty why wouldn't it goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever be blessed this weekend beloved have an awesome awesome weekend have an awesome day today and no matter what you face today and listening to the worshipers in the background they say i shall not want because he provides for all my needs you shall not want because god provides for all of your needs be encouraged be strengthened hallelujah and know that god is with you father i pray for every person that is listening i pray god that as they go through your the, the day today that they look to you as shepherd as provider as help in the name of jesus that they know that god you will provide everything that we have need of no matter how small no matter how great we know that you are a good shepherd We know that, God, you love us. You always make a way for us. And for that, we are grateful. We love you. We honor you. We ask you, Father, that even as we go through this day today, help us to keep our mind on you. Help us, God, that we not worry, that we not fear, that we not dread, because we have a good shepherd. Hallelujah. We know that we shall not lack. We shall not suffer lack. You make a way for us even in the wilderness. And we bless you for it. We honor you. I pray for strength. I pray for encouragement. I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance. Hallelujah, God, in the name of Jesus, for every person under the sound of my voice. And God, we just give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We magnify your name today, God, for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. We thank you, Father, that everything that we have need of, 
our God shall supply all of our need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus because you are our shepherd and we shall not want. We thank you, Lord, that lack is abolished. We thank you, God, that we will never suffer hunger. Hallelujah. The righteous shall never be forsaken, nor your seed begging bread. And we thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus' name. And it is so. Be blessed, beloved. Have an awesome day today. Be encouraged in your inner man knowing that the lord is your shepherd we will meet again on next week by god's grace monday morning 6 a.m eastern standard time come together on the the podcast amen and let god stoke your fires with fire in the morning god bless you have a blessed day
choose to listen.